Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahusha, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahusha, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles, the elders. Salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. In this lesson, we'll be entitled Son of Man. What does it mean? Ecclesiasticus 33 and verse 10. And all men are from the ground. And Adam was created of earth. When you examine Adam in the Hebrew, it means Adama, which means of the earth or from the earth. Keep this and mind. Second precept. Second Ezra six and fifty four. And after these, Adam also, whom you may lord of all your creatures, of him come we all, and the people also whom you have chosen. And this is literal. Matthew 13 and 41, the Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend and them which do iniquity. When we focus on son in the Greek, Strong's G 5207, Puyas, Puyas. According to outline of biblical usage, one be generally used of the offspring of men, meaning what? Going back to Adam. One C, in a restricted sense, the male offspring, one born by a father and of a mother. All right. And this proves the title Son of Man proves that Yahweh Shai had a physical father and a physical mother. One be again generally used of the offspring of men. Going back to the previous precepts. Second Ezra 6 and 54. And after these, Adam also, whom you made Lord of all your creatures, of him come we all, and the people also whom you have chosen. Referring back to Ecclesiasticus 33 and 10. And all men are from the ground. And Adam, hence the Hebrew term Adama, was created of earth. And Adam in the Hebrew means of the earth or from the earth. Matthew 13 and 41, the son of man shall send forth his angels and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend and them which do iniquity. Every man, okay, on earth, and you can include women, all right, can be classified as the son of man. Why? Because everybody goes back to Adam. But out of all these 
sons of men, the Most High had a chosen. So it's nothing spooky about saying you are the son of man. Ezekiel 2 and 1. And he said unto me, son of man, stand upon your feet and I will speak unto you. Verse 2, and the spirit entered into me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet. That I heard him that spake unto me and he said unto me, son of man, I send you to the sons of Israel, to a rebellious nation that have rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me even unto this very day. And as you can see, Ezekiel had the classification as the son of man. Psalm 146 and 3. Put not your trust and princes, nor in the Son of Man, in whom there is no help. Okay? Hence, the Son of Man. Psalm 144 and 3. Lord, Yahweh, what is man that you take knowledge of him or the Son of Man that you make account of him. All right. Matthew 13 and 41. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend, and them which do iniquity. So, in a nutshell, Yahushai is referencing himself as the Son of Man, saying, Look, I came of Adam, all right, and I had a physical father and a physical mother, which proves, okay, that Joseph was his father, his physical father. Lord, will you are edified. Shalom.